Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And last time out, we were doing a little bit of work in Sudbury. As you can see, I haven't managed to do anything off camera, but that's okay because we're going to leave it as it is. What I did do is I played it for a while and look at the amount of people waiting for the train at Sudbury. You guys saw in the last episode as people were filing in. Obviously, this is because of that initial burst that's going to significantly drop off that is definitely going to significantly drop off but I mean that's a lot of people in Sudbury however today we are not going to be focusing on Sudbury as a matter of fact for the next few videos we are not going to be focusing on Sudbury or passenger lines um, I was thinking of doing a little bit on the passenger lines but I think there's something more important for us to do and that is freight I've noticed that Naperville and Chicago barely gets anything. They get a little bit of tools, some food. Uh, very little bit of tools, some food. St. Louis over here gets some construction materials and some fuel. Um, Detroit gets some tools and food. Toledo, same thing, some tools and food. So we've got things that we can improve upon. It's tools and food as you can see so over the next few videos what we are going to be doing is we're going to be looking at city by city um, commodity by commodity and we are going to see if we can figure out how to get all or as many of these cities as possible with the right commodities all the freight going in and out of them uh, in the most efficient manner possible and hopefully getting them all up well above 50 percent so make sure you stay tuned for this episode and the next however many episodes for that right i think a good place to start is st louis uh, because we've got a nice freight station here that we can can we upgrade hold on yeah we can I kind of want to upgrade it just so it looks good. There we go. Now what we're going to be doing is we're probably not going to be playing this every single episode. Or we'll play it at the end of the episode. But we're always going to be rolling back to the 25th of February 1979. Uh, for the most part I think. So here we've got a freight station that's got what's going in and out of it. We've got the... Let's actually do that to visible only. And trains only there we go so we've got the philadelphia oil which is supposed to be bringing back fuel which brings back very little fuel as you can see 21 percent doesn't bring back a lot of fuel so we need to see if we can up that somehow uh, perhaps these trains are going to need some sort of replacement i think that could be a possibility or the trains on the other side might need a replacement what we are going to see the other one that we have is this st louis freight which is this train over here which brings back very little construction materials so both of these have problems that don't start because obviously the construction materials come from here both of these have problems that start right the way across the map over here so there's something that we need to do here and fix here to get these ones running so that's what we've got to do lastly we've also got food that can go to this place so we have got access to three platforms we've got access to three platforms uh forget anything that's in the white color so we've actually got uh that platform there free yeah that platform there is completely free that's double switch that can slip back that's going that way yeah so this one we can use to get food in from chicago so i think that's another that's another possibility for us to get food in from Chicago. We have these. Uh, these are still the Volvos, aren't they? These are the oil tankers. They're the oil tankers. These are the coal tankers. Or the coal, coal hoppers, sorry. So what we need is a freight system that goes all around. Because that's probably why we can't actually get everything going. As you can see, because there's no freight system to take take all the commodities all the freight around that is not happening so that's the first thing we need to set up so let's go ahead and do that freight lines are going to now be red 
Uh, individual lines are going to be green. Freight lines are all going to be red. We're going to start switching freight lines over to red. So this is going to be uh, FSH St. Louis. Okay, we'll do that. So you can see that's St. Louis coal, and this is the oil. So this is the main freight line. What we're going to do is we're going to ensure that we've got some drop-off points like so so where do we want them to be coming in and out from i feel like this is the bigger hold on what goes into this yep this is the one where we need them to start from so we'll ensure that they start from there and then where do we want them to go i feel like i feel like we should have a drop off point uh right get the right side of the road we'll have a drop off point there we shall have a drop-off point. Uh, we could have them actually stop in there to drop things off. But I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to have them run up this side, drop-off point there, and then we need to go into the city. So we're going to have a drop-off point there. We'll have a drop-off point here. We'll have a drop-off point along this route. So basically right round the outside and then... Let's see, we can probably bring it down that road, this road. So there's a drop off point there. If we were to put another drop off point here, that would cover a significant amount of, yeah, that covers a significant amount. Then we put a drop off point here. And then lastly, we'll put a drop off point there. Okay, and actually, Actually, to help us out, let's put a drop-off point there as well. So, between those drop-off points, I hope this works. So, let's have a look. Uh, find the drop-off points. There's the first one. There's the second one. Auto save. So, obviously, this is going to take. It's going to take a little bit of planning. Uh, but we should get everything done episode by episode and we'll have everything running how we want. And this is important because that would mean that the end of this series is going to be a really good one. There we go. Right, how much does that cover? All of St. Louis. Right, so that's all of St. Louis covered with that single setup good let's now add them in so there that's an interesting loop they actually do a loop now as opposed to just turning back it actually does a loop that's fancy uh there and there yeah look they'll do a loop where it seems viable which obviously it's not but still There we go. Okay. Uh, ideally, I don't want you to go that way. Actually, it might be... It might be better if it cuts through there. Maybe it'll get out of the way of the buses. Uh, similarly, I think we need to upgrade these buses to the fishbowl. So we'll do that too. So let's go for the fishbowls. Which I think are just really popular. And we'll have a little green like that. There you go. They're all going to be replaced. Perfect. Okay. So that's the first thing. That's going to hopefully up the amount of fuel that has to go in and out of this place. That will up the amount of oil being produced, that will up the amount of oil being transferred and the oil coming back as well as in Indianapolis it should up the amount of uh, goods being goods being sent out. Can we hover over goods? Yes we can. There you go, you see Indianapolis sidings 24, 13th Street 107. So it's we need to try and get things going to the Indianapolis sidings as much as we can because if they go to the sidings that means they're going on this, if they go on this that means they're going out there. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, that's actually quite busy. I wonder if converting that to a larger one and deleting this road 
converting it to a much larger one because we're going to this is going to become a big yeah I think this could end up being quite a hub there we go that should help yep that should help traffic flow in and out very very easily good so we've done that we've done that uh, this is also probably going to become a hub is that as big as it gets it is as big as it gets see we could do transfers from there and from there uh, this one will be the transfer of bricks and if we have anything else here we'll transfer it from there so there we go how does Indianapolis look with anything 84% on the brick so that's good that's good right so we've done that now next up is we need to find a way to get food and where are we going to get food out from uh, that and it gets over to there we've got the food All right, which platforms are free not many we're going to have to start freeing up platforms I feel yeah we are going to have to start freeing up platforms uh, properly so this is not ideal at the moment can we run let's see if I were to do this, here we go. Uh, where are you coming from? Right, you're the museum line. I don't need to worry about the museum lines. I'm just going to go... No? I'm apparently not going to do that. Let's do that. Do that. There we go. In theory, this should just open up all the platforms for us. We'll have many platforms I've got selected at the moment. That is all the platforms, right? So all the platforms are now open for us. So we're going to create a new line. FR Chicago St. Louis. Um at the m well, I'll just call it FR Chicago St. Louis. Let's see what happens on that. We will we're going to have to change the line colors as well. We're going to start using orange for uh shuttle runs, which in this case is this is sort of a shuttle run. Okay. It's picked that platform. That's good. Now it always stays on one side and that's probably because there is no crossover. Yep. Let's put the crossover in. There we go. Crossover now in. So it should go both ways. Fantastic. Right. Now this is going to become very interesting because I think getting trains going through this is going to be hectic going to be very very hectic but let's have a look anyway let's double check all our signals okay so we've got a signal there now I'd rather I'd rather this switched over well I don't know that I suppose no actually that helps because that keeps that clear so okay so we've got the signal there Where's our next signal? We have a signal here. There we go. That signal has to be clear. That will have to clear all the way into the platform. That's going to be interesting. To have a signal clearing all the way into the platform. Okay. So we've got that. I suppose... We should have a signal... At the bridge... Although up the hill, that's going to be a nightmare. Then we can get a train in that section. We've got a signal there. And we probably need signals out of this. This is going to end up blocking all of this when trains are stopped there. That's going to be uh, interesting. Maybe the signal should be out here for these, actually. 
Yeah, potentially that's probably the better idea. Okay, let's try that then. So we'll have the signals out of the platform there. Which means that will be the same for the, all of these. If we're using those platforms. And then into the platform, the signal will have to be right here, I suppose. Like that. I mean, I can see some trains not fitting in this. I, I can see a problem with trains fitting, so we'll have to probably extend this back. But there's a start. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to save this. And we will ensure that this is actually working. Because we'll get this playing. So we need to, first of all, get a train that needs to go out along, out onto that platform. So this one here, which is going to be that one there. Oh, well, here's a train for us. Uh, sure, we'll use this one. Let's send this one out on... Let's send two of them out. Like that. Okay, we'll see what they can do. Let's do that. If they work, we can just use them. Road Depot. Let's start getting ourselves some... I suppose we'll use the Studebakers. It's automatic bright red or oh, not so bright red what's the Mac AC in 1916 that's not the one uh, how many did I get eight six eight nine ten set line that's one auto save again which means we're coming close to the end of the episode okay and Let's get this playing. I suppose the bulk of what's happened today is this. Look at all of them getting ready to do their work. All right, and let's see if this changes up anything. In fact, let's pause it. We're going to pause it in March. For the simple reason is I really should save that after I've released these. Alright, so I guess we're going to be in March 9th, 1979. There we go. Okay. So they're going to do their go in and out. They're not going to be able to carry anything just yet. Here's some of those new buses. Look at this. There's a new bus. Compared to an old bus. Yeah, but that's a... What's that then? It's the same bus. I wonder if I can just stop this bus right here. Now you're probably asking, why did I stop the bus? I just want to um, take a picture of these two. This what's been replaced and what's being replaced. There you go. So that's what replaced it. That's the replacee and the replacer. Replacee, replacer. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, and let's see if this changes what goes on. So let's fast forward it, and obviously we'll come back to this point. So let's say they carry 21. Let's see if they start carrying more than that. Indianapolis sidings, look at that. It's starting to creep up. So let's see if that helps this out. Got a whole bunch of stone coming in. So that's going to make a big change to what's going in and out. Here we go. Constant supply of stone. 20, 23. 31. We are going to be using the aircraft too. Right, so it's only going to take 31 this run. 
Or is it going to take more than 31? Hold on. 35. It's going to take 35 this run. And there's five waiting there already. Are oh, these the Volvos? Hold on. Uh, or are they the Studebakers? They are the Studebakers. Okay. Just had to double check. I want to make sure on that. Alright, already 13 waiting. That's good. They're not really upping the ante here, are they? 34. Why are they not carrying, carrying it yet? 8 and 31. Okay. So that's improved somewhat. A little bit. Now let's find out what happens with the oil and the fuel coming back in. Obviously, there's not much fuel being taken to and from, is there? Is that just taking a full load again? 504. Okay. Here comes a fuel train. 120 fuel. Where is that 120 fuel going to go? Pretty much all of it went there. Only 11 came here. Right, we need to be producing more oil then. Okay. So what are you carrying? Another 108. And there's fuel being produced. Washington West. Okay. So that looks like a good place to end. Um, aha! It's happening. It's slowly. It is slow. But it is happening. So here comes another trainer. It's definitely going to be carrying more than it's carried before, I feel. I think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe 32 is the most it's ever going to carry. Nope, there we go, 41. That's going to carry more than it's ever carried before. That's a really, really good sign. So there we have it. That's going to start improving. That's a good place to end. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on... There you go. Even the food's coming in. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes and then Series 3 The Great Western Railway. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think and don't forget to support me on Patreon www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. Uh, also, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget. You'll find me there streaming every now and then, so... Please do feel free to join me on that. Have a chat. See what I'm up to. Different series running. Uh, pretty intense series in some cases. So we'll see what happens with that. So make sure you check that out. That's all from me. And I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes.